let's talk about the finite correction factor. So the finite correction factor is used when the sample size is more than 5% of the population. So for example, let's say we're taking a sample of six students out of the 100 students at the school. Our sample size would be six. Our population size would be 100. So that means that the sample size would be 6% of the population. So we would use the finite correction factor. Now, when you use the finite correction factor, what you're doing is you're making a slight adjustment to the standard error equation. So this is our basic standard error equation for the standard error for the mean. We take our population standard deviation, divide it by the square root of our sample size. If we have to use the finite correction factor, we toss that onto the end. So big N is your population size. So that would be 100 from our example from earlier. Little n is still our sample size, so that would be 6. And so we would include the finite correction factor when calculating our standard error. Now what this is going to do is it's going to decrease your error. So rather than looking at it as you have to use your finite correction factor, you can spin that and say you get to use your finite correction factor. It will include a little bit of extra work, but you are lowering your standard error because we took a large enough sample.